African American Heritage Month celebrates the contributions of some of the greatest black journalists in LA history. Gil Reyes shows us this unique exhibit that's on the walls and on the floor. LA City Council President Herb Wesson takes us on a tour of City Hall's new exhibit entitled Right in America, a history of the black press in Southern California. What we have is the beginning of African American journalism in the city of Los Angeles. Behind me is the very first uh, article from the Los Angeles Sentinel. The Los Angeles Sentinel, founded in 1933 by Colonel Leon Washington, is LA's oldest black newspaper still in existence. Not only did they report the news because it was important and say what was going on in our community, but they also were like a, a newspaper of activists. Exposing racial, economic, and professional injustices while breaking barriers in the journalism field. Today, the Sentinel is owned by activist Danny Bakewell. And it was the African American pioneers in journalism that not only opened those doors for themselves, but to this day they still keep those doors open so anybody, regardless of the color of your skin, if you work hard and if you're qualified, you have a shot. This is the National Association of Black Journalists and photos of the founders. And this is uh, uh, Valerie Shaw, and Tony Cox, who was one of our first very successful radio and on, as you can tell by the photos, he was an on-air uh, personality. The councilman talking about the NABJ's local chapter and one of his fellow native Ohioans, former Cleveland mayor Carl Stokes, was the first African-American big city mayor and the first known politician of any color to anchor news in New York City. His contemporaries include KTLA 5's Larry McCormick, a familiar face on Los Angeles television until his death in 2004. Also featured in this gallery are local TV stars of today, like KCAL 9's Pat Harvey, NBC 4's Beverly White, and CBS 2 sports anchor Jim Hill. When these guys and ladies opened the door, they had to be the best of the best of the best. And because they were, it has opened the door for everyone. Even the floor is part of the exhibit. Inscribed are quotes from other prominent African Americans. The quotes were selected by every LA City official. Council President Wesson chose a lyric from the godfather of soul, James Brown. The quote is, I don't want nobody to give me nothing. Open up the door, I'll get it myself. And that's the way I live my life. You don't have to give me anything other than an opportunity. South LA Councilman Marquise Harris Dawson also stops by the gallery. Uh, Team Wesson, uh, you know, led by Albert Lord, is, uh, does a great job with these exhibits every year. Uh, you know, hopefully some of these things get enshrined and made permanent insta installations somewhere. They're so beautiful, they're in your city hall. Come check them out. The Right in America exhibit will be on display through March 20th. At City Hall's Bridge Gallery, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. The Bridge Gallery is located on the third floor of City Hall.